Spurge here, and in this video, we're gonna break down the new Biltwell Gringo SV. The SV stands for shield and vented. This is the first of the lifestyle helmets we're seeing from Biltwell that gets ventilation. You're gonna see it now has four intake vents, one two down at the chin that are non-adjustable. Those are open all the time. And then you are gonna get vents up top that you can open or close. And there are detents there in the vents so you can figure out exactly how much air you wanna have flow through it. Now the one on the right, we've actually been riding in. And when I say we, uh, our product expert, Mr. Patrick McHugh and TikTok sensation, as he's been telling everybody at the office, he's very popular on TikTok, uh, has been riding in this newest version on my right-hand side. You're gonna see some bugs, you're gonna see some scratches, some scrapes. We'll talk about overall impressions in just a minute, but I do wanna go through the basics of what you're gonna expect from this helmet. The white one on my left-hand side, I'm just gonna move the green one to the side for the moment. Uh, when we're talking about the overall shell, this is still what you'd expect from the Gringo line. ABS plastic shell, three different shell sizes, extra small through small gets one shell size, medium through large gets the next shell size, and then extra large through 2XL gets the largest of the shell sizes. From a pricing standpoint, this is now gonna be the most expensive helmet in Biltwell's line. This is coming in around that $300 price point. Again, you're now getting the ventilation, the shield, and just the design of adding the vents to this um, does add some complexity to what has traditionally been a pretty simple helmet within their line. Um, this one is also now gonna have DOT and ECE 2206. We saw Biltwell introduce the ECE rating in previous versions, and the SV is only getting uh, a version with the ECE rating included with this. Like I said, four intakes, one exhaust vent out back. You can see it's integrated really cleanly into the shell itself. From a fitment standpoint, this is going to be an intermediate oval fit. What that means is a little bit longer front to back, a little narrower on the side of the head. Gonna work well for the majority of riders in the American market. If you're not sure what we're talking about, maybe this is your first helmet or maybe you've never properly sized a helmet before, make sure you check out our how to size and buy a motorcycle helmet guide, which walks you through under, which just walks you through an understanding of internal fitment in general. Now, I wanna get into some notes on sizing here in just a minute, but I do wanna mention before we uh, forget the weight on this, three pounds, 11 ounces in a medium, so a bit on the heavier side, but again, that's really not been something that, that Bill Wells been going after. They were really focusing on taking a lifestyle helmet and introducing the ECE safety rating, and then you know, kind of modulating and adjusting as they work through this. Um, and again, that's why you've seen the Gringo go to the Gringo S, go to the Gringo SV. There were ECE ratings that were included along the way. It's really been a solid evolution of this helmet as they've worked through it. Now, talking about evolution, one of the nitpicks that we really have with the Gringo in general, um, and it kind of started when they added the ECE rating and it's gonna be carrying through to the Gringo SV, is that sizing does a big, get, get a bit complex. Um, was talking to Pat, who's been the one riding in the green one here, and you know, Pat wears a medium pretty much in all of his helmets across the board. Uh, to fit comfortably in this, he did have the size up to a large. We find that it fits anywhere from a half size to a full size small, depending on where you're at in the spectrum. So if you've never worn a helmet before and you're using the size chart, probably want to bump up a size from there. And even if you have worn a helmet before and you're looking at the fact that, you know, I wear a medium and everything else that I own, would probably want to recommend bumping up a size. Pat did say when he was putting this on, he could fit into the medium, but it was just pressed up right against his face and it was incredibly uncomfortable. Sizing to the large made it a much more comfortable experience. So just a note there on sizing, recommend bumping up one size for the Gringo SV from a comfort standpoint. Now, again, similar to what we saw with the previous Shield version, the one thing I wanna note here is, you know, Biltwell talks about the fact that this includes an anti-fogging element to the inside of the Shield. And we found that even riding this in, in you know, 15, 20 miles an hour as you're riding through the city and you start moving and you go ahead and put the visor down, um, it fogs up very easily. They're also saying it's anti-scratch. You can see if you look closely on this one, it is already starting to scratch just from where you close this, where it rubs against the metal liner to this. Now, I, I think part of this is just the compromise you're gonna deal with with this lifestyle style to the helmet itself because they don't wanna put a big rubber gasket around this. They want this metal aluminum kind of like look to the helmet. So when you close it, it sits directly against that particular piece of metal. It doesn't sit against a rubber gasket like you would see with a traditional full face helmet. 
Because of that, you're going to get a lot of wind noise. Uh, you're going to get a lot of wind pushing through. You're not going to get a clear seal there. And you're also going to start to see that it begins to wear really easily and scratch up pretty easily. So maybe there's something that we could see from iteration for this. If the very least, the scratching on that doesn't really bother me, but the fogging does. So I'd love to see a pin lock version of this. Um, I know that that might take away a little bit from the aesthetic, but I think a pin lock version would be super snazzy um, from just a being able to see things with the visor closed in cooler temperatures kind of point of view. I do like the vents. I think the iteration of the vents work really well to match with the style as well as to promote a lot of airflow. I like the fact that there's different detenses here that you can pick and choose how much air you want to flow through. I love the colors. There's a wide variety of colors already with this particular helmet and the venting works. So as we're looking at the helmet overall, I think you know really what, they're, what they've added to the S version with the venting is, is going to work out really well. You can remove the face shield. You get Phillips head screwdrivers on the side, so it's not a quick release. You have to swap that out using a Phillips head screwdriver. Now, like we said at the, at the beginning of this, simple little line on the back for your exhaust fan does change the line of the helmet a little bit there, but I think it still works well to maintain the overall style of what we've come to like about the Gringo for those of you out there looking for more of a lifestyle piece. Just gonna pull the interior out on this one to show you the inside. Simple snaps, and then just right in the base there from this piece of plastic, um, very basic interior. You're gonna have four snaps to the inside, just a cloth interior. You can see even just with a few rides that Pat's been using, it does start to pill up a little bit. So very basic when it comes to the interior of the helmet but easy to get in and out if you do want to wash or change cheek pads. Um, just a quick note on that. Uh, you are going to get cutouts for the speakers on this. That liner, again, very similar. Easy to get in, easy to get out. No snaps in the front. It is a brow mount, so no additional pressure points you need to worry about there. So from a comfort standpoint, that shouldn't be a concern. And they went with more of a quilted pattern on the inside to give you more of that kind of a lifestyle feel, even with the top liner. Um, like I was just mentioning, you are going to get channeled cutouts for the speaker pockets on this, and they're relatively deep, so you shouldn't have any issues using a modern speaker that tend to be a little bit thicker for better fidelity. And when you're taking a look at the channels on this, you can see those channels for the ventilation. Not the most sophisticated channels we've ever seen, but also not the most basic, so somewhere right in the middle. Um, definitely deeper than I was expecting to promote that airflow from front to back. So again, as far as the Gringo SV adding the V to the name for ventilation, I think Biltwell did a great job with adding the ventilation to this. The only real note that, like I said, from a, from a maybe fix it for the next iteration would be adding a pin lock version to the face shield. And that's something you wouldn't even have to wait for the next iteration for. You just have a pin lock option from a face shield standpoint. And then also just trying to figure out what's going on with the sizing here. Cause like I said, it is about a half size small um, and we're recommending people do size up to the next size large. Um, other than that, for those of you out there that know the Biltwell line, that know the Gringo line, this is just the next iteration in that for people that have complained about the fact that when you're riding around in a Gringo, there's no ventilation, it gets hot in the summertime. Well. Now you have that option, and like I said, especially with the detents to the vents, you can pick exactly how much ventilation you want to push through to your noodle. So for those of you out there that want more information on this or want to hear what other riders have to say, you can click the info button on your desktop or mobile device. You can read other rider reviews from folks that are out there already using the Biltwell Gringo SV to keep their head safe. And if you want more information as to which motorcycle helmet is right for you, you're still not sure, you can always reach out to one of our customer service reps and they can walk you through all the different helmets available to make sure you have the right helmet to match up with your riding style as well as your budget. I want to thank you for joining us for this look at the Biltwell Gringo SV helmet. I'm Spurge. Enjoy the ride. <laughs>